probability. Working over two probability trees. You will find this on page 652 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at an example. Bag A contains six grey balls and three black balls. Bag B contains six grey balls and four black balls. One ball is chosen at random from each bag. Find the probability that both balls are black. Now, remember, what is this total? Nine. What is this total? Ten. How many black ones are there? Three. So three out of nine, how many black balls are there? Four out of ten. And if you multiply it, that both balls are black, the probability that both balls are black will be two over fifteen. At least one of the two balls is grey. Now, what does that mean? At least means one is grey, one is black, but it can also mean both is grey. So the only branch that will be excluded is the black, black branch. So can you remember from previous videos that I said that a tree, doesn't matter if it's a combination, but it can never be bigger than one. It must always add up to one, to the certainty. So if I want to find at least one ball is, uh, one of the two balls is grey, I can take the certainty and I can basically just subtract the excluded one, the black, black one. So I take the certainty and I subtract the black black one and it will give me an answer of 13 over 15. Okay, the balls are not replaced. Now what does not replace? As soon as you see not replaced you must remember dependent and the denominator will be one less than the first event. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is take this bag and make a probability tree for two events. Take this bag and make a probability tree for two events. Now let's start. The first bag, there's nine balls. Three are black, so three black, six gray. Now assuming that I was taking a black one, remember, it will be one less black one, two, and now all the denominators will not be nine anymore. Eight, 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 eight. Okay, that one stays the same. If I look at this one, assuming that I was taking a gray, so instead of six gray, there will only be five, and that one stays the same. But you can still check. This branch must add up to one. This branch must add up to one. This branch must add up to 1. Do the same with back B. How many balls are there now? 10. So 4 black, 6 grey. Remember, it's dependent. So all the denominators will be 1 less. Assuming black, so 3 only black, this one stays the same. Assuming it was grey, so instead of 6 there will only be 5 greys, that one stays the same. Okay, so first draw for every bag, it's his own probability tree. Then, remember that if you want to work over two trees, you want to find this and this, then you must do what? You must multiply. Okay, let's start. Find the probability that all four balls are gray. So it will be gray, 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 gray. So basically, it will be 6 over 9, multiply 5 over 8, multiply 6 over 10, multiply 5 over 9. And if I do that, my final answer will be 5 over 36. Okay, the next one. The balls are not all the same color. Now, if it's gray, 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 it's the same color. When will it also be the same color? If it's black, black, black black. Now the best will be, because this is actually just two branches, is first to find the outcome of these two branches and then subtract it from a certainty. Because 
you want to find the rest. You want to find the other branches, but not the same color. So first, how do I find black, 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 black? I will just say 3 over 9, multiply 2 over 8, multiply 4 over 10, multiply 3 over 9. So this is all the gray, this is all the black, which is 1 over 90. If I add up that 2, I will get 3 over 20. And now, that's not the answer. That is the answer for if it's the same color. But I want the answer... Uh, the balls are not all the same color. So I take the certainty, because remember, even if I work over two trees, it must always add up to one. If I multiply in the branches and I add up. So I take the certainty and I subtract the same color, because remember, this is the same color. Okay, and if I subtract, so this 17 over 20 will be the probability of the balls that are not, not the same color. Okay, you will, uh, you stop the video and do try now 18. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's just move it up a little bit. Okay, let's start. Bag A contains five gray balls and three black balls, okay? Bag B contains six gray balls and two black balls. One ball is chosen at random from each bag. The balls are not replaced. Remember what not replaced means? Dependent. A second ball is chosen at random from each bag. Find the probability. Now, just like in the example, first construct two probability trees, one for bag A, one for bag B. Okay, so this is bag A, and this is bag B. And now, I just start. I'm going to say, I do this, and I do this. Okay, two events. Remember, a second ball is taken. So first, just make your branches, it's easier. And then write your different colors. What was your different colors? The colors was, uh, it doesn't matter if you put blue, gray or black first, but as long as, if you decide, okay, I'm going to, because actually the one they mentioned first is better. I know it's not an example like this, but it's just showing you that it works both ways. As long as you put gray on top, then black at the bottom, grey on top, black at the bottom, grey on top, because they mentioned it first, black. As I said, this one was different, but you could have do it the same, the outcomes will be the same. Grey, black, grey, black, grey, black. Okay, now let's start. Five grey balls, so it's going to be five out of, and how many balls are there in total? Eight. How many black? Three out of eight. Now remember, dependent. So all the denominators will be one less. So in this case, assuming it was a gray, so there's now not five gray, one less, four. But the black is the same. Cancel the assumption. Assuming it was black, so not three, one less, two, this one stays the same. Now do the same with this one. Okay, let's see, six gray balls, and again, it's adding up to eight. So it's six out of eight, this is two out of eight. Okay, it's one less, one less, one less, one less. So in this case, assuming it was gray, so it's going to be five. This one stays the same, it's a two. Okay, this one, it's going to be one. And then this one is going to stay the same. How can you check? Just check if this add up to one, add up to one, add up to one. Otherwise you made a mistake. Okay, let's start. Number A. All four balls are black. Now let's just find the road first. Black, 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 
black. If you want to move over trees, what do you do? Multiply. So let's basically just say uh, the probability for black balls. Okay, and if I do that, it's just going to be 3 over 8, multiply 2 over 7, multiply 2 over 8, multiply 1 over 7. And if my final answer will be 3 over 7, 8, 4. Use your calculator. It's the fastest way to work with that fractions. Okay, number B. The balls are not all the same color. Now again, this was all black. Where is the road where all of them will be gray? Gray. This is also the same color. So the best will we be to first work out this branch also. And then you can add up this two and subtract it from the certainty to find the ones that's not the same color. So this is not my final, this is just helping me. So the probability for gray balls. And that is going to be now 5 over 8 multiply 4 over 7 multiply 6 over 8 multiply 5 over 7. And if I do that, I'm going to get my final answer there of 75. Okay, let's rather do it here. 75 over and 392. Remember, just press it on your calculator. Okay, let's just see if we can move it to this side. We can maybe clean that equal sign. Okay. Now, no, this is not, this was just an in-between step. So now comes the final answer. The probability, and what is the question saying? The balls are not the same color. Um, balls, not the same color. And now, I just take the certainty, because all the whole tree, if you work over two trees, it's still adding up to one. And I subtract the same colors, which was the 3 over 7, 8, 4, and which was the 75 over 3, 9, 2. And the final answer of that will be 6, 3, 1 over 7, 8, 4. And this will be the probability that the balls are not the same color. So the color in the first event and in the second event will differ.